What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sean Malone with I Shoot Fights, your home for all things fight photography, videography related. So I just want to talk briefly on this past weekend's Thriller Triad Combat Fight Card um, that took place in Dallas, Texas. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Thriller, who's kind of entered the space and, and kind of this entertainment influencer fight promotional vehicle, whatever, um, launched this new combative sports, if you will. It's called Triad Combat. Basically, it boils down to this. You have a triangle-shaped ring, so a three-sided ring, and the rules basically are just modified boxing. So you don't have kicks, you don't have takedowns, you don't have submissions, you don't have elbows. You can box in the clinch. You can clinch overhook, underhook, tie hook. Um, you just can't use your feet, you can't throw, you can't take anybody down. It's basically dirty boxing, um, for those of you who are, are familiar with the term in MMA. And the gloves are smaller. So in theory, this is supposed to promote a much more action-packed experience. Um, but I'll be honest, it looks a little gimmicky, it felt a little gimmicky. Um, this inaugural event that took place on Saturday featured kind of like an MMA versus boxing fight card. So you had a lot of um, MMA fighters, former professional MMA fighters, um, some in various stages of their careers um, against professional boxers in various stages of their career. And the main event featured for the inaugural title, Kubrat Pelov um, taking on uh, former UFC uh, Champion Frank Mir. Frank Mir has only had one boxing match in his whole career and he lost that um, Last year, I think or a year or two years ago um, Needless to say he was always a submission fighter and not a boxer um, Not a striker going up against a very capable heavyweight in Pulev who fought Anthony Joshua though He lost for the title um, a few short years ago. So needless to say on paper. There was a lot of I don't want to say mismatches because it's both fighters technically were, you know, past their primes. And that was the, the kind of the case for a lot of the fight card. You did have some names, you know, Derek Campos, who's a former Bellator fighter, as well as Matt Mitriani, who was a former UFC fighter and Bellator fighter. I'm taking on some, you know, capable boxers. And the, the concept was kind of anchored by this MMA versus boxing concept where you had MMA captain uh, Rampage Jackson. Um, and boxing captain uh, Shannon the Cannon Briggs, um, both very much um, uh, attract a lot of media attention. They high side, they talk crap, and that's kind of why they were put in that position to really kind of drum up interest for the fight. And additionally, Thriller threw in a Metallica concert on top of the whole fight card. So you had, I think it was like six or seven fights and then a Metallica concert. Um, all of it was on pay-per-view through Fight TV through Thriller and it took place at uh, uh, the Globe Life um, Stadium in, in Arlington, Texas. So, I, you know, I asked some friends about kind of what their thoughts were on the fight card and a lot of them were kind of like, it was fun. It was a new wrinkle in combative sports and from an entertainment standpoint, they liked it. Um, there were those friends um, who were like, this is horrible, it's an abomination and it was pretty much crap from, from the get go. Um, I kind of fall somewhere more toward the, I respect the fact that it is a, an entertainment vehicle and prize fighting throughout the history of prize fighting has always kind of catered to these unique kinds of, uh, of fight promotions, right? Um, from the dawn of time, that's always been some kind of variation of, 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 of legitimate, quote unquote, legitimate fighting. You know, for the most part, this is just, I guess a much more intense version of boxing. Similar to the kind of how Bare Knuckle Fight Club or Bare Knuckle Fight Promotion kind of has established their little niche with within the, the fight community uh, for those who are looking for boxing without the protective gloves. And you know, same same situation when, oh, when Bare Knuckles came on the, on the scene, a lot of people were laughing at it, calling it an abomination, calling it a, a disrespect to the sweet science, a disrespect to fight, uh, to professional prize fighting. And it's quickly kind of found its its rhythm as of late with a lot of people that I know who actually enjoy watching the fight cards. And so 
I think that could be the future of Triad Combat. I know there's a ton of money behind it. There's a ton of money behind it to promote it. I don't think that having these kinds of fight cards with these kinds of fighters are, are going to really do it. A lot of the casual fans don't really understand who these guys are and they were kind of buying it from a, a sheer spectacle perspective. Um, but if it wants to be sustainable, you're going to need to like cultivate some some fighters and you're going to have to have fighters who really just, you know, young, hungry fighters who want to be the triad combat champion and, and not necessarily go the path of boxing or go the path of MMA. So I, I think there's there's room for it in the marketplace. I just don't know if they're going to have the patience to do it. Um, there's a lot of money involved in the promotion, which means that there's probably a high... Uh, expectation of a lot of returns as a result um, and those of you who've been in the fight community for any length of time know that that is never the case it takes small sustainable growths small shows become medium shows which become big shows which become pay-per-view events and you can't really just get out the gate and just run and try to buy your way into the marketplace and i think that that's where thriller is going to find themselves really facing an obstacle as they push this kind of combative sports to the masses. But, you know, who knows? You know, nowadays we, you know, Jake Paul is one of the biggest boxing stars in the world, and he's a, a YouTuber slash Disney, Disney uh, kid actor. So, you know, anything can happen. You know, people's uh, people want good action and entertainment value for their money, and so I think you can really see that triad combat would cater to that. You know, you're, you're eliminating a lot of the running and installing and, 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 and holding tactics and you're really promoting this like action, action, action. But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll see what the what the public wants in terms of the revenue and the pay-per-view buys. I'm interested to see all those numbers when they get released. But um, I just kind of was wanting to jump online and here real quick and just kind of share my thoughts on it. I, I think it, it was a little gimmicky. Um, but I think that there is something there. There is something there to be cultivated. It's just, it's going to take some time and patience. And I hope that Thriller and Triad Combat have um, the patience to grow this thing um, in earnest. But, you know, that's my opinion. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you at the fights.